Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. I was talking to a friend of mine recently who likes to go to casinos and his method of betting is to double up after he loses or has a losing bet. And I said to him that he was perhaps taking an enormous risk because he didn't really know how long he would go uh, in a losing sequence. So I thought I'd put together this Excel spreadsheet just to prove to him that losses can mount very, very quickly when you use that type of procedure when you're in a casino. And this is how it works. A number of spins, or perhaps blackjack hands, where you're being paid uh, uh, even money, particularly in roulette. And the wager sequence is this, that the first bet would be $2 on the assumption that that loses, then your progressive loss, of course, is $2. To get that $2 back, plus a $2 profit, you need to double the bet. Uh, if that loses, then you are uh, six dollars behind uh, had it won you would have picked up eight dollars which would only have won you the two dollars in the first place etc so down on the sixth bin assuming that you lost six in a row if you're betting red or black in roulette for example uh, the, you would have had to put on sixty four dollars to win back the initial two had that lost, your loss would have been $126, etc. And you can see how it mounts up very quickly. So what I did, I created uh, a random number in these cells, and that random number, if I click on the cell, if the random number is between 1 and 2, that is, it needs to be either 1 or 2. If that random number is greater than 1, then show the word win, otherwise show the word loss. I also, in this particular cell, uh, created a count if in those cells there that if the word was win, then show me the count. In this cell, uh, all I had to do, because I was looking purely at 10 spins, I simply had to say equals 10 minus what was in K8. To make things easy to generate these numbers, I created a macro. And that macro was run by this button up here in the Quick Access toolbar. There is a video on my channel if you search for uh, create a simple macro that will show you how to create a macro and also put a button up here to run it. So I can quickly create uh, virtual spins of a roulette wheel by clicking this button. When I click it, watch the cells here, they change. This time we had two losses in a row, followed by two wins, etc, etc. So each time that I click, I'll be given a fresh set of random situations. Now that's something you don't see often, there are eight wins in a row there, and one loss. Uh, let's see what happens as we keep clicking. Because sooner or later, here's a situation where there were four losses in a row. To win $2 on an initial $2 bet, you would have had to wager $32 to get back your, um, to get back your, your $2 uh, profit. So, hopefully you can see that these progressive losses can mount very quickly. Previously, we saw that there were eight wins in a row, but the odds of eight losses in a row are exactly the same as there being eight wins in a row. If you had eight losses in a row, you would have to put on 512 units to get back your initial two units. So you need to be extraordinarily careful when you're doubling up in a casino. Many people do it, many people lose. Because I can virtually guarantee you, but by the time you get to this stage, you'll more than likely have reached the house limit anyway because uh, they will only let you double up so often.
Uh, to download this file, if you wish, uh, you'll see that there is uh, my uh, email address in the um, uh, in the description of this video. If you want to send me an email, I'll be very happy to um, to send you a copy of the file. Uh, in fact, uh, if you go to the website uh, unitedcomputerconsultants.weebly.com, you'll find that there is a contact form there. Uh, just send me a uh, send me a message that you want a copy of the file, and I'll be very happy to send it back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you do better to casino guys and ladies, good luck. Bye for now.